No, uh, I'm not even going to talk about Spielberg, who, by the way, Steven Spielberg is a pedophile. Yep. See how easy that was, Corey? I didn't need $10 million. I just said it. But what I want to get into is, I want to get into, like, the bigger picture of how this stuff is all connected. Um, because when you're talking about like really elite levels, the name of the game is blackmail. So they want something on you that they can hold over your head so they can basically own you and tell you what to do. Um, and they film it. And then they own you. So that's what runs the whole system basically they want compromised people because they're easy to control oh i'm not going to talk about tom hanks either who is also a pedophile tom hanks folks is a pedophile sorry to i'm sorry if this is the kind of bursting your bubble all this information is new but it's time that this comes out into the open because we are going to change the way everything works because at the top levels of, uh, of, of wealth, of power, the very top levels, these people are just sick and psycho. Look into the Rothschild family. Uh, do some research. You heard it's cannibals. Yeah, there is cannibalism. It's, that's, you know, the higher you go, the more, the more sick it gets. And this is the thing, this is what really hurts about the situation because a lot of people are kind of born into this. They grow up in it, they are abused, and through the abuse, especially as a child, you can break someone's subconscious mind. Um, if you're not aware of any of this stuff, look into MK Ultra. Uh, Oh, Jimmy, Sa Jimmy Seville. Yes, I'm getting into that. That's on my notes here. That's in my notes. The royal family. Yeah. Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile raped and murdered hundreds of kids over the, over the course of three decades or longer. No one ever looked into it. And he hung out with the royal family. He was knighted. He was knighted. And... The reason I want to talk about Jimmy uh, Savile is because this guy, Mark Thompson. Mark Thompson is, he runs the New York Times. Now, Mark Thompson uh, was head of the BBC for years and years and years. They covered up, they covered up allegations, they covered up abuse. They let him run rampant and they just covered it up. So this guy, Mark Thompson, is at BBC, and then he goes over to the New York Times. Now think about it. If someone like that is running a giant media organization, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna tell you? Uh, are they gonna tell you the truth? No, <laughs> no, they're not gonna tell the truth. That's why when people say, the news is fake it's because it's run by these people who are into some very 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 sick stuff those people are compromised at the top levels uh it's really bad and it's it's when it hits you it uh it's it's hard i mean i i didn't know it took me it took the situation punching me in the face before I realized I was in the middle of some crazy fucking shit. And, you know, most people, they just, most people are, are good. And they want to trust, they want to trust, and they can't even imagine that that kind of an evil 
exists. Um, and that, that helps them cover it up. We have been brainwashed for our whole lives. Uh, if you want to do research on Operation Mockingbird, that's been going on, you know, 50 years. I, 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 feel, I feel sorry. I feel like, I feel a lot of empathy for them because they, they grew up in this shit. And, you know, it's trauma, it's trauma, it's abuse. And then, you know, then you get the money and then you get the fame. And it's like, okay, and then, and then all of a sudden you're the abuser. And it sucks, man. It sucks. Like, I really, like, I have a lot of empathy for both of them. Like, for anyone who is in that situation. Uh, why don't you show us proof? There's a bunch of stuff I posted on 8chan. And by the way, the proof is in the fucking pudding. If I'm lying, sue me. Sue me. Great. Let's go to court. Let's have discovery.